Hello everyone, welcome back to Plumber Parts. My name's James. I was gonna call this video how to get round those taps when you're doing a bit of silicon in. You might have seen a video I did a few weeks ago around Marion's house, hi Marion, where I had an absolute nightmare getting around the back of some taps and I was siliconing up her bath. And I saw this product by a company called Metex. It's called the Silicon Block, all right? I think they could have called it something else that rhymes, but it doesn't matter. Uh, and this thing has literally got over that problem in one massive go. I think this might be the first iteration of the silicon block because after I'd used it for a little while, and I've got mine here, lovely, look at that, silicon block. Look at that, it's even got instructions on the back. Gun, bit of squirty water, block, and then Metex. Once I've finished it, I'll be like, Metex. And here's another one as well. So if you see it hanging about, that's what it looks like in the thing. I just grabbed a couple of these. I think they're about 10 or 15 quid. You can get it on the Amazon store as well. I'll list it on the Amazon store, but don't check that out until you've seen me use it as well. So if we actually look closely at the silicon block here, if you look on this end, this is kind of the important bit that I want you to see. We've got a thicker kind of big, bigger quadrant there, and that's about eight mil, or it's, you say a quadrant, just a triangular shape once you've run your silicon through, that's about eight mil, and this is about six mil. One thing I'd like to see, and they are gonna make another few of these, um, is to just have some smaller bead sizes because I like to do quite a small bead size um, when it comes to a bit of silicon in. Now, you may recognize this room that I'm in at the moment. We've had a bit of a nightmare with this. Still, still trying to get through that at the moment. It's a long story. Yeah, but that can happen on locals. Join locals to find out. But the bath has all been installed beautifully. I think you'd agree. <laughs> uh, and I just need to basically finish off the actual silicon seal on here with a little bit of white silicon just to get this all through. We've got some clear silicon along here already, but it wants that nice little bit of white silicon on there to give it that finish. So I'm gonna use the six mil quadrant on this and I'm gonna show you how I use this to do that. And also some of the other little things that this particular tool negates and gets over by us using it. So let's get on with it. Oh baby, sexy boots, links below, 10% off. Uh, first thing we've got to do is actually cut open our silicon. And I would like you to, if you've never done this before, this might seem like a really simple part of the job, but it's actually something you've really got to think about. Cut your silicon in nozzle at a proper nice size, but also choose good silicon. Don't try to go cheap because the cheaper the silicon, usually it's kind of drier, I think. So I've got a little bit of dow here, bit of dow. Not been paid by anyone to do this video. This is just the one that I use. I used the one that Marion gave me a couple of weeks ago. Not great. So get your Stanley blade out and then just cut this off at an angle that's just gonna get out as much silicon as possible. Okay, so then our silicon's gonna come out of there. Right, so then you screw on your nozzle, which for some reason wasn't going on very easy there. And like, a good idea is to think, right, get your silicon block and think, right, kind of what sort of size are we looking at getting here? You wanna be kind of down there, just marry that up to there, like so, and then you've got a good idea that you really wanna be bringing out a seal, a silicon bead at about that sort of size. But one thing I would say is a lot of people, if you're looking on here, you don't wanna cut it like that, you don't want to cut it like that. You kind of want to go for like a 30 degree, something sort of that kind of area, if possible. Oh, I didn't do that very well. <laughs> I've got to cut that off a little bit flat. Oh, let's just take a little bit more off there, get a bit more angle. Lovely. So that's a nice little bead there, ready to get silicon in. You may be wondering why I, well, you probably aren't wondering because you haven't seen yet, but I am, believe it or not, holding some fairy liquid. This particular flavor is Lavender and rosemary, very nice. Rosemary's good on your tatties. Uh, we've got a little squirty bottle here as well. This will become very important in a few minutes time. Don't go anywhere to find out. First thing you wanna do is remove the stuff, the detritus from around where you're working. Now this has already been sealed up properly along here. This is a very thick acrylic bath that you guys have seen me actually install. By the way, there's builders next door at the moment. They're doing my roof as well at the moment because we've had the chimney taken out, but anyway. This has been very, very well installed. So what I would say is if you haven't sealed this properly already, when the bath was half full or two thirds full of water, then you're gonna wanna do that. Because this is thick acrylic, there's no way, and literally, if you've seen the videos of me installing it, I'll leave links to the video, probably at the end of this video, actually, if you wanna check it out, this is not gonna move anywhere at all. Um, but the reason we put water in is sometimes the, the 
baths can bow slightly with the weight of the water and also the weight of a human being, dead or alive, in the bath. Um, and you need to be able to make sure that it's not gonna rip the silicon off. It is a little bit of an old school one. I've never actually seen it happen myself on any bath. So, I mean, the ones where it must have happened must have been so badly fitted, the bars. It was just insane. Throw it over there. That's, I actually use that. I like that. Fresh clay, beautiful. I'll scrub my body down. Max, do you like a bath? No, mate. Don't I like a bath? What? Shower, you, well, like, oh, you're out of shower then. <laughs> oh, good, yeah, I was wondering. Max doesn't wash. Honestly, if this is scratch and sniff. Right, I just want to make sure the area you're about to work on is kind of clean. Uh, and when I say clean, I just mean like dust is all out of the way. Try just to make sure that it's all beautiful looking. See, look, you can see there's some old marks there. That's old silicon. Probably I was in a bit of a rush when I did that. Now I realised a couple of weeks ago we did a video about how to silicon up a bath. Well, it wasn't really that, was it? It was more of a job report with Marion. Beautiful lady. Just along these bits here, as you can see, just a few little marks on there. Sometimes if you can't get it off, you just got to brush the same way. Or just go like that again and again. Because if you go backwards and forwards, it kind of stays where it is. Which isn't really what you want. And I lay here watching Netflix in the bath with a glass of wine on a Sunday night. It's hallowed time. It's like when you go to the airport and your flight's delayed. Like, everyone sees that as major hassle. I see that as like, this is my time now. No one else can do anything about it. The next thing I'd say is, when you are doing any kind of corner section like this, if you do the bottom sections first, that's not really a good idea because um, if you do the bottom sections and then you start doing the top section, you find little bits flake off or something like that, it's gonna fall onto your wet silicon and ruin it. Uh, and you're gonna to have to go over it again. So I recommend you don't do that. Um, so we'll run a bead down here, down the side here, and then we'll get that in first. You can have a look down the end if you like and just squeeze it up a bit. And now realize when you're using a silicon gun, if you leave the pressure on, like we are now, this is gonna keep coming out, so you need to take the trigger off like that, that release the pressure off the back of this rod here that's on the back of the plunger and silicon won't spew out and go everywhere which is a major I mean, pain in the bum a lot of the time. So we're just going to get a little bit on here. here right, so now we need to mix up a little bit of soapy water, very easy to do. You don't need loads. Um, you kind of got to get on with it a little bit. There you go, just a bit of that. Bit of water. Great thing to take if you just want a quick body wash when you're at Glastonbury Festival. Couple of squirts, ready to go. Before you get started, it's also a good idea to give your silicon block a little bit of spray and that lovely soapy water as well. Helps with cleaning and also doing the job, which you're gonna see in a second. Right, so you want your silicon block nice and ready. Remember just to say, right, which size I want. And we're just gonna give this a little spray down here. So get out a couple of rolls of your blue roll, just nice and ready. Flip them over a few times because you're gonna to, going to wanna to clean your block down. Don't wanna go into this with a dirty block. First, you just go in nice and low, like so. Now, I just want you to see for a sec, what isn't happening, right? What isn't happening is we're not getting ripple divots where you have a, uh, a joint in the tiles or anything like that. So that's making this quite a lot easier for us to do. And just look in here as well, it's quite easy for us to clean this little thing out as well. And up we go, we just keep on coming. And if you want to get a bit off like that, you can. Look, because we've got a big old chunk of silicon up here on the Is this in school? So, cleaning your block. Something that we've had to do a few takes of because I got, I got it wrong a few times. Do you know what I mean? As you can see, it's like bendy, very, very bendy, which is what helps it not only smooth off the silicon nicely, but also push it into the fittings where you can get that lovely depth, nice little bit of seal. Best thing you can do is just give it a good old wipe down with a bit of blue, a bit of blue wild bruv. Just try and get everything out of it as much as you can. But it is really flexible, so if you do need to pick any bits out of it later on, you'll be able to probably roll it out with your fingers anyhow once it's dried off or just start it with a little bit of a little bit of the standing knife or even more than that you can just get some silicone remover give it a spray give it a quick wash down 
um, and you're good to go for the next bead. Let's get on with those beads down below. So this is where I traditionally struggle. Last week, the bar taps were, li were literally here. The great thing about this tool is that if, say, the bar taps, I don't know, are <laughs> this far away or something like that, you can still get the tool down behind them to get that perfect seal. It also kind of sort of sucks itself to the tiles, which is quite nice. I like that. Let's get that started. Corners are always the hardest. Just want to get that started along there. All right, now the long one. Here we go, Gil. Let's get it out. To be honest, look at that run on there. Oh, hold on. So if you ever get bits like this, just stop, fill them up. Doesn't matter if it's blobby now, because you're about to smooth them off in a sec. Look at that. Turn that off, and then look, pop it into the corner up this end. Just start it so it squidges in, and then drag it along. Nice, nice spray. Just drag your spray across here. Beautiful. Also, the design of the silicon block makes it nice and easy to get nice, neat corners, which can be difficult, especially if you're new to siliconing. This is where a lot of people go wrong, is you end up with stuff like this everywhere, and you lay it down and it gets popped on the bath, something like that, and then gets everywhere. So you just basically pop it up like that and then just sit that out of the way then. You know you're not gonna get silicon on anything. You can pop it on your head, you're not gonna get silicon on there. Unless someone slaps it, which I almost thought you were gonna do there, Maximilian. Right, little blob arch just in this bit here because we've got a little bit of a problem. And always try and run it just there like so. <laughs> right, start it off, bring it in, pull it along. And we've almost fixed that. A couple more down there, we're all good. Look at that. So then, silicon block. Uh, if you want this one here, comment below, like this video as well, and I'll pick a winner and send it out to you. Do an imaginative comment. What would you, do a bit of poetry about the silicon block, all right? And I might even read it out in the next video. But yeah, there's the silicon block. Add it to your siliconing arsenal, along with your finger, your squeegee gun, your blue roll, uh, and any other formers that you might use. Oh yeah, we didn't do the end bit, Metex. Yeah, nice tool, does the job. Like I say, I think they're only about 10 or 15 quid. It's on the Amazon store now, so you can buy them there. But before you do that, whack a comment below. And if you want to see me installing this bath here, then click on this video. It's a very nice video about me installing this bath. You can see how much fun I had doing it. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. See you in the next video. And remember, to hold tight.